Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about firewalls and their types. So we will be discussing all four types of firewalls and uh, before moving on to the video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it so that you are notified with our latest videos. So let's move on to the first type of firewall or the introduction of the firewall. Now what actually is a firewall? So just by saying the name firewall, we can say it is a wall on fire. That is a wall which is burning is known as a firewall. Or simply we can say that a firewall is like a bouncer or a doorman. That is if we have a network, so a firewall would be a bouncer or a doorman. So it would protect our network against security threats. So it is a wall of fire which protects our network. We can take it like this. So now uh, uh, let's see it in uh, fire it is that the name itself indicates that it prevents intruders intruders the water intruders such as virus, torsions, ransomware and other type of malware and other security threats from breaking into the networks and affecting them. That's what a firewall is. The work of the firewall is to protect our network against the security threats. It, is, it can be a firewall can be present at the entrance of an application. So it can be at the entrance of an application or at the database or other resources, any other resource. It can be at the entrance of any of the resources, application or database scrutinizing the upcoming and outgoing data traffic so it will monitor the upcoming as well as the outgoing data tra traffic and it would decide what data can pass through those uh, entrances and what should be rejected so this is the work of the firewall so it would be a, like a gatekeeper so like a gatekeeper decides who would come into the house and who would go out of the house and uh, who should not be allowed to go out of the house so like this the firewall would take care of the data traffic that which data should pass through the firewall and which data should be rejected through the firewall and which data should be go out of the network from the firewall so this is what a firewall actually is so let's move on to the type basically the firewall are of four types so let's discuss the first type that is a packet filtering firewall so this is the most basic firewall this is also called a first generation firewall so from the word itself packet so packet is uh, used in network layer so this packet filtering firewall it works in the network layer of the OSI model so in OSI model we have the network layer so in the OSI model it will work on the network layer whereas in the TCP IP model it would work on the IP layer so this is what a packet filtering a position of a packet filtering firewall is actually now what uh, where uh, is the packet filtering firewall is we know it is in the network layer so it is a part of a router so it can be embedded in the router itself now what actually is a router router is a device that receives packet from one network so uh, the receives packet from one network this is a router and send it to and forwards them to other network okay so in packet filtering firewall each packet so suppose uh, each packet would be compared to uh, some set of criteria so suppose what I would say is so suppose we have two networks and from this network I have decided some criteria suppose if the source source address is X or the destination address is Y then only the packet should pass through the network so this is the criteria which is set so in the packet filtering firewall the packets are filtered whatever was inside the packet what is written what is inside the packet is doesn't matter we just check the header or uh, the destination of the packets like this you will check and this uh, firewall would either allow or reject the packets so let's see so the packet filtering uh, firewall it is responsible for filtering and inspecting data packets coming into the network based on an established rule set here I said the rule can be okay, we should allow the packets in which the source destination or stores address is X or we should allow the packets in which destination address is Y or we should not allow the packets which has this address or this which has this uh, port numbers so these are some criteria so they have some rules or set of criteria like this is the example like allowing data from only certain IP address, packet types, port numbers, etc. and ignoring those which don't belong to those uh, IP addresses. So the main thing in packet filtering uh, 
firewall is first the selection criteria second is the action field suppose the selection criteria is if the source address if the source address is x then then what should i do the action criteria i can ex I either accept the packet or reject the packet so there are two things first is the selection criteria other is the action field so just by seeing the header they will uh, take us uh, so the action based on the criteria so this is what packet filtering firewall is so this works at network layer okay so let's move to the next type of firewall that is circuit level firewall or the gateway so what is it actually is it operates as session layer so okay packet level it uh, operates as network layer it operates as session layer so it is uh, it involves in handshaking so it involves in session so instead of data at packet level it takes place at session level so you, we know in tcp it is session so it is mon it monitors tcp handshakes and they ensure that external session of your network encounters are legitimate one so what it says is if suppose you are engaging in a se session the session should be a legitimate one so only legitimate sessions would be allowed do through that firewall the sessions which are not legal or not uh, legitimate those sessions would not be allowed so this is based on session so session level is it is based on external sessions it is tcp handshake based firewall so this is circuit level firewall and the third type of firewall is stateful infection so uh, st inspection so we can say that this firewall is a combination of both packet filtering and uh, session filtering so it would it is based on both packet filtering as well as uh, as well as tcp handshaking that is they do the job of both they monitor all the sessions or connections and this determine which packet should be allowed or disallowed so first they would monitor the session and based on the session they would allow or disallow the packets so stateful inspection is it is inspecting the session as well as the network packets so both it is the combination of packet filtering as well as circuit switching firewall okay so last one it is the application level firewall it is sometimes also called application gateway or proxy firewall so this is application level firewall let's see what it does it operates at the application layer level, level application layer and in other words they filter the traffic only with the regards to application for which they are intended suppose if we are using a web browser so that firewall would filter only those packets which are related to that web web browser only so according to the settings so this is a firewall which is regard to a certain application or a certain service okay it would not work for the whole system it for the only one application this is example uh, a firewall for monitoring traffic to all web application your 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 network uses suppose any web application your network is using any web application so that would be this application level firewall would be applicable to only those networks so that is how a uh, web application based firewall works so these are the types of firewalls uh, four types of firewalls if you like the video please click the like button and please do share hope the video was helpful